The old Newsboys began in 1924. A group of businessmen and civic leaders from this area uh, thought that it would be good to have some sort of program where they could take care of needy kids at Christmas. Well, our goals of Old Newsboys, which is like our mission statement, is to let no child be forgotten. Early on, when Old Newsboys was started, it appeared to be a very need for needy kids at Christmas time because a lot of them were not getting taken care of, not getting Christmas presents, and so at that point in time, they saw that there was a need in this area. So, and that need has grown over the years and continues on today. Just last year alone, we took care of 5,486 kids at Christmas time. The old newsboys got their name basically from uh, the old newsboys slash Goodfellows out of Detroit area. And they were the ones that uh, came, a couple gentlemen from that organization came up here, and that's when we established Old Newsboys of Flint. The Old Newsboys has three basic programs uh, that help out in the community, and I say the community, all of Genesee County. One, obviously, is our Christmas box program, which is to help needy kids at Christmas. We provide a sweatsuit, which includes sweatshirt and sweatpants, two pair of Hanes underwear, two pair of Hanes socks, a stocking cap, a pair of 3M Thinsulate gloves, dental hygiene products, which is a toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, and an age-appropriate gift or toy. Keeping in mind, this Christmas box program goes from newborn through high school. We also have our second program, which is uh, Warm Hearts and Healthy Starts is what we call it. It's our shoe and coat program, which has been going between 10 and 15 years. And what we do there is we give out vouchers to every elementary school in the county. We rely on the teachers and counselors to identify kids that come to school without a decent winter coat or a decent pair of shoes. For a family that gets burned out of their home or apartment, for example, and uh, they've lost everything. Everything we have at our disposal, the old newsboys, we can help them get back on their feet. We have quite a few different fundraisers throughout the year. Basic fundraisers are obviously our paper sale, which is always the second Friday of December. And we have a multitude, I'd say at least 15 or 20 other fundraisers throughout the year. Uh, they're a little bit smaller scale, but still help to, to get us to the bottom line to, to provide the programs that we provide. The uh, Sponsor Child Program is one in which we put uh, trees up in businesses every year, uh, usually starting close to the beginning of November and then through, uh, through the end of the year where they can uh, put a paper tree up on their wall and somebody wants to sponsor a child for old newsboys, we write their name or that individual writes their name on the tree, they collect $20 to sponsor a child and then they get one of these buttons like I have on my lapel and that's, uh, that's the way we do a major portion of our fundraising. You know, I wish there was not a need in the community and Old News Place wasn't needed, but I don't ever see that happening. There's definitely a need and it's gratifying for me just to be able to see the smile on little kids' faces 